here with a quick update. A uh, new project I've been working on. I got it Saturday from a young man called uh, Untame RC on um, YouTube. Uh, cool guy. Hook me up. This is it. It's off now. Dirt oval. Real good price. I couldn't. I couldn't pass it up. It was just a roller. So I had to do all. Put all the electronics on there. I went through last night. Um, put a hundred thousand in the diffs. Front and back. Tighten up the front. A lot of play here. So I use some of them. Check them Traxxas. Ceramic, I think they're not Teflon shims. Uh, you can see I got some there, some in this one. I had to put some shims in here. So this was real wobbly too, but it's tight. It's real tight. No flex at all. No slop, I should say. I'm going to run um, XLX. I'm just using my traffic connector for now until I um, get my A cells. That's my goal, run A cells, run a Cordova motor. Right now I'm just going to run a 26, 50 castle. Same motor I had in um, my Kyosho. But since the Kyosho down right now, I'm going to put it in here, test it and see what it do. Pick up this little off-brand servo but it's a high volt servo. So it's like 420 something ounces on 7.4 volts. So bumped up the ES, bumped up the ESC up so it can handle that and it's pretty quick. I don't know if you can see this red spare adapter. Picked that up from um, RC Hornet that came in Saturday. Red, so I now can put my Traxxas, my Revo spurs, you know, I might my, my one spurs on there. So right now I just got a 36 spur with 30 pin in there, and she's uh, she's I like it. She's smooth, sounds real good. Didn't know um, since it was a fifth scale ESC, it takes eight millimeter. So I had to change my 6.5 to 8 millimeter on my um, motor. And didn't too do, didn't do, didn't do too bad of a job. Looks good. Uh, so it's, uh, yeah, that's about it. Like I said, uh, check the guy out, Untame RC. If you're not subscribed to him, subscribe to him. He's a speed runner. looking out man I really appreciate it so what else that's about it oh I picked up some little some little hooks from the dollar store I hooked my cars on and put my bodies over there shout out to all my subscribers shout out to uh, my Detroit club all my 70 and 100 plus club painted the body up. I don't know if y'all noticed it on my last video. But that's my TC5. That's Peacemaker. She ready. Came to find out I had um, a screw loose in my steering. So that's why I couldn't get a good pull. But she ready to go. She is ready. Oh, a quick little damage report. You see I... Pull the motor out, pull my gears out, and so this one's damaged. This is broke. Both of these are broken, and the rear body mount is broken off. So, best believe it's on its way. 
everything shipped out, I think yesterday. I think I'm waiting on um, my body for this. Oh, I sent my battery trays off to VGAG. Well, he's sending me some battery trays. I just sent him the little black moldings that was on here. So he's gonna make some carbon fiber boards out for me. And um, I'm getting some phones made up. I had some old GRPs, a crazy racing banana, some guy on Facebook. Uh, Tinsley has some tires made up, I think for his 18th scale. So I sent those off to him. I should get those back in a couple days. So I just put my old slicks on there just to roll the wheels on it and see how it feels. So, yeah, that clack the clack. Sounds good. I can plug a battery in for y'all so y'all can see how it feels. How it sounds. Down for one second, fellas. Let me get this battery connected. Yeah, so I got the little, this little cheap little servo, hey, under 30 bucks, man. Yeah, it's too tight. Oh, oh, doggy. Yeah, I you know I'm going to do a hundred out the, out the gate on this one. All right, that's too long. Seven minutes. I want to hold you guys up. Have a good one. Uh, I'm going to attach some photos for before and after. Bye. Have a good day.